3D printing is one of those jobs that you always have something to do after you print the model. Well, it's removing supports or all kinds of other stuff like that. But when it comes to smoothing a model, you need sandpaper, time, and just patience. Well, today we're gonna to talk about a tool that will speed up that process. See you guys inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. As I said, we are talking about finishing today. So whether you're printing with filament or you're printing with resin, there's always a little bit of work to do to shine up the model and make it look good and get it fitting together right and all that kind of stuff that honestly sometimes is just tedious to do and time consuming. Um, specifically today I'm talking about sanding. I hate sanding. I... I, I find it so tedious to do, but so necessary to do when I fill in a fill line or I've taken off a piece of support and it's made it look a little jagged. Smoothing is something that you always kind of have to do with a 3D print. It's any model type you build, whether it's a miniature figure, there's always mold lines to remove or something like that that you got to clean up and it just can be really annoying. And the kind of the thing to keep in mind with that, it's annoying but how can we make it easier? So you guys have seen me talk about the Citadel mold line remover, replacing the X-Acto knife. I can trim things off and I don't cut myself. Great little tool. Well, today we're gonna to talk about a tool to be a companion to that. Cause let's be honest, this guy is handy as can be, especially if you have kids that wanna do model builds beside you cause they can't hurt themselves. Or you're a big kid like me and who's a klutz and yeah. Well, enough said. But today we are specifically talking about this handy little tool. So this tool is $20 on eBay and it's specifically kind of sold towards cleaning up resin prints, but I actually found this very useful on filament prints as well, of helping me get rid of layer lines and different things like that in different spots. So why this specific tool? Well, I've used tools like this before. I've even made my own variant using a electric toothbrush, the rotary head toothbrush. And this little guy beats them all. Um, I have the bigger expensive vibrating sander that's like $80 just for the base unit. And it does a good job, don't get me wrong, but this guy kind of just kicks butt. And we're gonna get this guy out of the box here in a second and take a deeper look at him and what comes with it and why this needs to be in your toolbox if you do 3D printing. Honestly, it just saves time. And especially sanding is something I don't wanna be doing, but it can be a really good thing. Before we open this thing up though, if you're new to the channel and you find this interesting or anything 3D printing interesting, make sure to hit that sub button because we're talking about stuff all the time when it comes to 3D printing and different things like that. So definitely join us as we have new videos coming out every Friday. We're getting ready to move, which is why my shelf is getting kind of sparse. And we're getting ready to build a new print shop, which is kind of a cool thing. And I want to take you guys with me on that journey while we build that print shop and while we close down this stage that's been tried and true for us for two years and remodel and remake things and just make things more awesome so hopefully you guys hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the content and you like this and you even purchase this link for this will be down in the description below as well from amazon it's again it's twenty dollars but also what tools do you use to finish your prints what kind of cool things that are out there that are important and make life easier because that's what this channel is about getting to go 3d printing making it easier making it a process that anybody can do that's the whole point. So comments, make sure you hit that thumbs up button so we get circulated around YouTube. And also, if you're interested, links down in the description down below. So let's hop over and get this tool out of the box. All right, so what will you need for this tool? Well, pretty straightforward. Any tool like this needs some AA batteries. So without further ado, let's get this guy out of the box and get a better look at it. So pretty straight, simple forward packaging, no staples, nothing like that, nothing to hurt myself. That's always a good thing. And I do like that it comes with different grits of paper. So, and then they're labeled, which is always a good thing. So then most importantly, the actual tool itself. So 
batteries. Let's I figure out how to do it here. Oh, there we go. Oh. All right. Looks like our batteries go head down. Line up our groove there and just push back in. So one of the things that's important too is sound because this thing is going to be up vibrating against a print. So I don't want anything that's really loud and obnoxious. So, uh oh. <laughs> oh, helps if I put the batteries in right. <laughs> That's usually the flaw of any tool. I didn't read the instructions. There we go. Sounds a lot like an electric toothbrush. Uh, bad one but there's a lot of good to this and I'm looking around oh perfect we'll just grab the super star destroyer here that actually needs a little bit of sanding now noise wise it's pretty noisy not really a good way to tone it down but for what it's doing with this vibration on this pad it's gonna make pretty quick work of anything I'm working on. You can see it's actually pulling up that filler really nicely, really quickly. A lot faster than I could do it with my hand. I'm barely pressing and it's doing a fantastic job of cleaning that up. So, I mean, all in all, for a, a simple tool, that even lets me get really nicely into the nooks and crannies here. It's doing a really good job to help me clean up that seam line. So you guys can see it went in, it pulled away, it did a really good job. So it was mucky like that, now it's cleaned up like that. So it is a very handy tool. This works now, granted I'm doing this on a filament print right now. This tool is really more designed for resin prints, which I'm looking around to see if I have anything handy. I can't touch those, but hey, I just happen to have a little Starship here. And oh wow, it is just ripping into that resin very nicely to smooth it out. And sometimes this can be handy with a very light one just to grid it up for paint and help me work out those seam lines. Now of course you, some people are going to holler, oh the resin dust! You're right, I should be wearing a mask, but for this quick video that did a really good job of cleaning up that saucer. So for a very simple cheap tool to get working forward, the Mr. Hobby this tool is going to be a good one for you if you want to get into this hobby and really kind of work at smoothing your prints. And when you're done with a pad, it just peels right off. So you can replace it very easily. Quick adhesive, pops right on, and away you are back to work. So, and it's really cool that they, this comes with two, three, four, five, 15 pads of each one. That's a lot of pads. And the replacement pads, I went up and looked on these online on Amazon. The replacements for these set just kind of like this is eight bucks, which isn't bad with prime free delivery. So kind of cool. So, and this was a straight 20 bucks. There was no additional uh, delivery fees or anything on it. So definitely a great tool to look into. I really urge you kind of to consider it. Um, if you guys have enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like button. Um, again, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as we can show all kinds of little handy tools to make this job a little bit nicer and a little bit easier. Hope you guys enjoyed. We're getting closer to the stage being torn down and moving. You guys will see a video coming on that very soon. So thank you guys. We'll see you in the next video.